want to respond to the many questions we receive on our social media pages on where to buy a bike and what do you look in or at when you want to buy a bike. So we are going in one of the shops, so Melvin will ask all the questions and, and, and Blake and myself, we shall attempt to respond to all of them very well and guide you also in what is a good bike. We are at the Green Cycle bike shop at the Valley Arcade and uh, Melvin had identified a number of bikes so he's going to show us which bike did he choose and then we shall tell him what are the pros and cons and what to look into with a bike. So Melvin. In the I just like the bike, not because of the components because I don't know what even the components are all about, but just the look. It looked, it looked a bit flashy and also the size. Then I've always heard of components, Shimano components or derailers, what are derailers, front and back, and what determines the price point depending on the level of the components being used in a bike. Alright, uh, Melvin, uh, we have different categories of components in bikes. Uh, we have the entry level ones which are Shimano, Altas and Alivio, then we have the middle level ones which are the Dior and then more performance level and uh, higher level and those are the Shimano SLX, XT and XTR. Uh, the Shimano XTR which is the highest and the best performance ones are quite expensive, very expensive and not common, especially in Kenya. The bikes with XT and SLX and Dior components are quite pricey. Their market, their market price should be over 100,000 going up. And the ones with uh, Dior, with uh, sometimes components, people mix components. So you realize others have Dior and others have uh, Alivio, others have Alivio and Altas. So when they mix components, the price comes down to around 40 to 60,000 more. So let's have a look at what these people have and then we shall see. Coming back to the, the three main points, you've got frame, fork and wheel. So Jess will talk about the wheels first. So we've got the yellow, black and white Scott here the blue pinnacle and the silver and white trek over there. The pinnacle and the trek both have 29er inch wheels. More touring and cross country racing type wheels, the 29er, because it's bigger, it rolls faster. And then now the mountain bike industry has gone in between the two. We've got a 27.5. Cool, and then we've got obviously three bikes, so three different forks. Two of them by Suntour. So we've got the Suntour XCR here. It's a big spring in here. The Rock Shock does have air, so you can see it says air here, and if I take this little cap off, it's just like a car valve. So this is a slightly more advanced fork, um, but unless you're moving over really technical terrain, you don't always need the air fork. Uh, and it's a little bit more expensive, obviously, because it's got air inside it. And then this one, again, is another spring-only fork, because there'll be no air inside this one. The frames, they're all aluminium, so you can see if you look at the welds, down here, they're all big fat welds, so that means an aluminium weld, not steel. So that's the dead giveaway of what material has been used before you even go and look at the specifications and it'll tell you exactly what type of aluminium. We could get a tape measure out and measure them, um, but I would say, looking at the Scott here, it looks so they're about the same. And then you can just go and have a look at the wear and tear because it's a second hand bike. First of all, some of an easy giveaway is these jockey wheels. So inside, how worn out is that? Are the teeth still nice and sharp? Have they got a good shape to them or are they really rounded out? All right, we'll just have a look at the frames again. So obviously all people are different sizes. Some are small, some are tall, but you can get a tape measure and measure from the center of the bottom bracket up to here on your top tube and that'll give you pretty much the, the size of the bike as well. But all bikes, even though it says this is a 19 inch, 17, 17 and a half, all bike manufacturers, the bike sizes are slightly different, even though it says this is a medium, this is a small. One small can feel really small, another small feels more like a medium of another bike manufacturer. So again, you just got to get on the bike, ride around a bit and see how it feels. Out of these three bikes, in your opinion, which one would you suggest I go for? Well, the next, the next thing I'd do before that was actually get on the bike and ride around the car park and then just turn off your brain 
and just go completely on feel. Which bike feels better? The only major difference between all three is the wheel size. 27 and a half, 29 er but other than that, all these bikes are very similar. If a bike feels really good, then it's sort of the bike for you.